it has been at least a couple weeks ago since I schooled Farid about his pagan cult again. You know, every couple of weeks, he forces me to expose him and his pagan prophet all over again. Whenever this guy opens his mouth, he literally buries himself and his pagan prophet. And here is why. In his last video, I caught Farid lying about his prophet's past. And Farid will also show us another contradiction in his man-made Quran. Let us see what Farid said in a recent video. On in the next verse, we find a similar meaning at the start. Instead of, I will not worship, it says, Wala ana abidun, Meaning, nor am I a worshipper of that which you worshipped. While it seems similar and both speak of the Prophet, peace be upon him's rejection of the false deities, verse 2 speaks of his action, while verse 4 speaks of him, the person. Notice how he is referring to their actions in the past tense, then affirming that the Prophet, peace be upon him, is not a worshipper of what they worshipped in the past. So according to Farid, his prophet never worshipped idols of his tribe. Just to make sure, let us see what he said again. Then affirming that the prophet, peace be upon him, is not a worshipper of what they worshipped in the past. What Farid forgot is that in chapter 93, ayah 7, Allah himself confirms that Muhammad was pagan. So did we just find another contradiction, yeah, Farid? Allah found Muhammad lost and guided him. Muhammad used to worship idols like his pagan family and tribe, the Quraysh of Mecca. This is why he's lost and needed guidance. The explanation for this verse in Tafsir al-Tabari makes it even more clear. Here's what we can read. وَوَجَدَكَ دَالًا فَهَدَى أَيْ كَانَ عَلَىٰ أَمْرِ قَوْمِهِ أَرْبَعِينَ عَامًا Meaning, Muhammad was pagan like his tribe because all of them worshipped idols. To make it even more worse, if we go to chapter 74, ayah 1 and ayah 5, we can read يَا أَيُّهَا الْمُدَّثَّرِ وَالرُّجْسَ فَهْجُرِ Allah is talking to Muhammad, oh the cloaked one, and in ayah 5, Allah commands him to stop worshipping idols. So why would Allah still command his so-called final prophet to stop worshipping idols if he's already receiving divine inspiration in the form of the Quran? Remember, Muhammad received at least three other chapters before this one. So, clearly Muhammad is still worshipping idols and Allah needs to remind him to stop the shirk all the time. Muhammad turns out to be a mushrik all of his life. And here is the proof from Tafsir al-Tabari for chapter 74, ayah 5. وَالْأَوْثَانْ فَهْجُرْ عِبَادَتِهَا وَاتْرُكْ خُدْمَتِهَا Meaning, as we explained earlier, Allah is talking to Muhammad and he commands his prophet to stop worshipping idols and abandon their service. Why would Allah command him to stop worshipping idols while Muhammad is already receiving Quran for so many years now? Because Muhammad worshipped idols all of his life and to back it up, here is more proof from the hadith. In Sunan Abi Dawud, hadith number 4158, which is a sahih hadith, we can read, Narrated Abu Huraira, the messenger of Allah said, Jibreel came to me and said, I came to you last night and was prevented from entering simply because there were images at the door, for there was a decorated curtain with images on it in the house. And there was a dog in the house. So order the head of the image which is in the house to be cut off so that it resembles the form of a tree. Order the curtain to be cut up and made into two cushions spread out on which people might tread. And order the dog to be turned out. The word for images or idols in the Arabic language is tamathil. So the question is, why would Muhammad have images or idols at the door and decorated curtain with images of idols on it inside his house? Was Muhammad an art collector or dealer? Or did he simply worship them? As mentioned earlier, that would have been the reason for why Allah continuing to command Muhammad to stop worshipping idols as mentioned in the earlier ayahs. As you see, Muhammad did associate partners which is shirk with Allah. 
And that is the unforgivable sin in Islam. And in the Musnad of Imam Abu Hanifa on page 589, a similar story is mentioned where Jibreel is commanding Muhammad to decapitate the heads of the idols. But Farid said that his prophet never worshipped any idols. Do you think he lied?